In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called solving a quadratic equation needing simplification. We're solving for v here, and in this equation, I can see that I have a factored term on the left, v minus 6 quantity squared, and the expression on the right, 2v squared minus 18v plus 41. To begin simplifying, I'm going to want to combine some like terms, but before I do so, on the left hand side, this v minus 6 squared, I'm going to go ahead and multiply that out. And you can either use the formula or you can multiply v minus 6 times v minus 6 by foiling those out and simplifying. Either way, using the formula or the foil method will give us on the left hand side a v squared minus 12v plus 36. And I'll bring down the right hand side, 2v squared minus 18v plus 41. And now to continue solving, I would want to set this equal to zero by moving everything to either the left or the right hand side of the equation. And looking at the lead terms on the left and the right, since the right has a 2v squared and the left just a 1v squared, I'm going to subtract everything from the left. So a minus v squared would move that over to the right. A plus 12v on both sides would move that to the right. And then a minus 36 would move the last term over to the right. Having moved everything on the left over to the right, I now have 0. And on the right hand side, I can combine like terms. 2v squared minus a 1v squared is just a v squared. Minus 18v plus 12v is a minus 6v. And a 41 minus 36 is a plus 5. So things are looking much better now. Our next step is going to be to factor the expression on the right. So again, factoring on the right, since the leading coefficient is 1, the v squared would factor as a v and a v. And then inside, I need numbers that multiply to be 5, but then add up to a negative 6. So since 5 only has 5 and 1, I know that this will be a 5 and a 1. And the signs will have to be the same to multiply to a positive 5. But since they're adding up to a negative 6, they will be the same and negative. So we have factored the right-hand side. And we can see here that we have two expressions being multiplied with the result of 0. And the only way that you can multiply two things and get 0 is if one of those two things is 0. So either the first term, v minus 5, will have to be 0, or the second term, v minus 1, will have to be 0. Solving for each one of these, on the left, adding the 5 to the other side gives us a v equals 5. Or, on the right-hand equation, adding 1 over to the other side gives us a v equals 1. So we have two solutions, either v is 5 or v is 1.